baadhi ya hatua ambazo tayari tumechukua vile imesemwa hapa tayari tumebadilisha viwango vya kutoa kongole kwa wanyariadha wetu hapo mbeleni ulikuwa unavunja rekodi ya ulimwengu and these great men here who are uh, record holders would uh, confirm there are a lot of world records here in fact the highest concentration of world records per square meter here is very high it could be the highest concentration in the whole world at any time but they would admit ulikuwa na shinda rekodi unafika Jomo Kenyatta International Airport unanyweshwa mrisik unaingia matatu unaenda nyumbani na inaishia hapo kwenda huko zile hali ilikuwa na mbali lakini tumebadilisha sasa tumeweka mtindo mpya unafika tunakuhakaribisha kwa heshima tuna host wewe unapata hodi yako ya shilingi milioni tano unapata nyumba ya bedroom tatu na tunakupatia heshima wakati wa national days tuna recommend kwa mheshimiwa rais kupeana national honor that is why hata kijana wetu kitum tumemzika akiwa na order of the grand warrior ambayo rais alimpatia jamhuri day mwaka uliopita december it is now the way the normal way for us to honor our athletes but it is not enough I'm your minister and I can tell you that that is just the beginning. We must do more. And we will do more. Among the things about tayari tunafanya kando na hiyo scheme mpya. Mwaka uliopia uliopita pia tulifanya kitu ambacho kiliwahi kilikuwa bado hakijawahi fanyika hapa Kenya. Tuliandaa tamasha maalum ambao tuliita Hongera Awards. Hongera ilikuwa sherehe ya kusherekea our legends. And we had many of you at the Hongera Awards to recognize you, to honor you, and I can assure you that this year the Hongera Awards will complete the process of giving you your due honor and respect when we host the second one this year. But we need long-term solutions. And that is why tumetilia mkazo mipango miwili muhimu zaidi. Mpango wa kwanza tulizindua mwaka uliopita na Athletics Kenya ni mpango wa endowment fund. Ni wakfu maalum wa kusaidia wanariadha wetu wanapostaafu. Hiyo endowment fund serikali ilianzisha na shilingi milioni 20. Na tunawasiliana na wawekezaji wengine the corporates tunataka kukuza hii endowment fund na rais mheshimiwa William Ruto ameniahidi ya kwamba tutaongeza mchango wa serikali katika hii endowment fund ili uwe ni wakfu wa kusaidia nyinyi mkiwa in retirement that endowment fund is actually for you athletes in retirement mpango wa pili tumeanzisha ni level na athletics Kenya ni pension scheme pension scheme ya kuwezesha wanariadha wetu kuwekeza so that you can save while you are active and you can have something in retirement and in addition to those two schemes pia tumeongeza housing affordable housing a special product for our athletes and we have signed a special agreement with the housing finance to provide affordable housing to our athletes I want to assure you that hii mipango yote tutaiweka nguvu na tutaendelea kuhakikisha kwamba we take better care of our athletes and our sportsmen and women while active and in retirement tutasimama na nyinyi and we want to honor you when you are alive i agree what is the use of honoring you when you cannot see the honor i i am not a very happy minister pretend to kuja kuzika mana sports I was only one month old in office in 2022 when I traveled to Bari Wilson Kipunguchumo in Kericho. I was devastated the other day to bury the young man Kitu. 
I'm here today, I'm hiring another great Kenyan, and Rono. It is not a very pleasant thing. I, I, I don't enjoy being a minister who gives accolades to the great sportsmen and women while lying dead. I want to honor you while you live, while you feel, while you see. We want to give you bouquets of flowers that you can smell and feel and enjoy the scent. We want to give you money that you can spend while you are alive. We want to give you houses that you can live in and feel the warmth. And so, he, there's no debate about this, by the way. Akuna, akuna mazungunuzo hapa mingi. We must correct the errors of past, of past governments. And I'm telling you, if there ever was to be a government to correct the mistakes, the sins of omission and commission committed against the great sportsmen and women of Kenya, if ever there was to be an administration, it is this administration of William Samuel. We will correct. And as we do that, we want to use normal packages available. And I assure you today, E-Universal Healthcare, UHC, as a legacy project of this administration, you will be primary beneficiaries of universal healthcare. Because one of the greatest challenges is healthcare for you. Affordable housing, you must be primary beneficiaries of this affordable housing program. Because housing has been a challenge for many of you. And as we do that, we must also create a system for you to formally now help to mentor and train generation after generation of the next world leaders. And so myself, together with the peers, we will have a special program under the Kenya Academy of Sports that can bring you on board formally to play that role of mentorship and support to our younger athletes. And many of you already do it informally. Many of you, like Professor Boyd here, have made incredible contribution, immeasurable contribution. Absolutely, and I really, really applaud you, Professor Asante Sana, for the contribution you have made and continue to make. We must now create a system, and the best ecosystem for that to happen is within the Kenya Academy of Sports for you to lend your incredible experience to the service of your nation.